Just fast forward to about the 24 minute mark to hear Chris's story from himself and from the people who loved him. Chris is the leading light in the social motorcycle scene. He has run countless fundraisers for great charities. He's a very humble man, quiet man, who enjoys or who enjoyed life.
keep on telling lies That is how we stay alive mm -hmm. So you know that I don't mind About what is wrong and what it is right We keep for all of his friends who care for him and love him as much as we do. Although my dad is getting sicker, he will always be with us and be our guide to light. So once again, thank you. As Olivia said, as Olivia said, thank you so much for everyone coming and showing their love and support for my dad and our family. 
These past 12 months have been so tough trying to cope with the news no one deserves. It's been hard for us all, but as strong as I make myself out to be, I have been struggling as well. It's knowing my dad might not be there for my special moments in life, like my wedding day or even my death this year. Even though he might not be, might not, might not be here, those special memories, he, he, he might not be there for those special memories. He will be in my heart on those special days and he will also be in yours when you need him most. We are all dealing with this news differently as my dad has touched you all in a special way. Seeing how much people love and support us makes me forever grateful to have you all a part of our family. As my dad would say, family is not defined by blood. Today is not about sadness, but about celebration of how strong our love is for one another. Our journey from here is going to be tough as we are all losing a very special man in our lives. But staying strong as we are doing today and, keeping, and by keeping everyone close, we can all get through it together. Thank you. Okay. So I just want to start off the proceedings with, uh, uh, is Veronica here? Sorry. Is Veronica. You don't have to. You're the one who started, you're the one who started the whole lot of this, so, um, um, I want to say a few words. And then, uh, and, uh, that's right, just say a few words and we'll get on to selling these tickets and, and then we'll uh, get on to the big show later on. You talk later. Uh, Chris going to talk a bit later. But Ronnie wants to say a few words. Uh, very short and sweet. We're all here for the same reason. I can't think of somebody more worthy to be able to experience this week. You're an incredible man. You've become a part of our family. No matter who you've been with, you've touched. What else can I say, Chris? I've nothing else to say except we all love you, we adore you. It's fucking shit, to be honest. Sorry for everyone who has kids here, but I've got the most ill team in our we all love you, I want you to embrace this, see how much we all love you doing this. It's up to you. You'll do it now or you'll do it later? Cool play. Um, Alright, it's up to you, mate. Um. Okay, I just want to start off uh, by thanking everyone for coming today. Um, I just feel very overwhelmed and so undeserving of everyone's support. There, um, there's, there are so many others that are uh, doing the just as tough at the moment and who are unwell and just do receive this much love and support from my family. And um, myself is just here. Yeah, um, very overwhelming. So I want to thank everyone. Um, you know, it's, it's been a shit 12 months. Um, for those that don't know, I had no symptoms. I had no idea that I was unwell, um, but I was diagnosed last May with bowel cancer. Uh, I had emergency surgery, uh, commenced chemo, and in September I was told I was cancer free. Um, we had the best Christmas because uh, I had put everything into perspective about um, about how important family was friends were and um, finished chemo in December and then was told in January that it spread everywhere to my liver, abdomen, lungs, stomach um, and that unfortunately uh, it's incurable, inoperable so it's been a uh, very hard process the highs and the lows but um, it's just uh, the, all your support has just made it all so much easier well, not easy step, just knowing that we've got so much love um, and support in our family, knowing that I won't be here, knowing that they will have that love and support, has, um, means so much to me. Um, I've had many people offer to do, you know, go for me and um, different awareness things. And, um, I'm not one for, believe it or not, those who know me well, I don't like attention, not when it's about me. Um, I like raising awareness for everyone else and other causes and charities and things, but um, my boss and friend, um, she can't be told, and uh, she did her own thing and organised the GoFundMe on my behalf. Why? Why don't um, it was, yeah, it was. I pretty much blackmailed him into it, but I was going to do it anyway. At least you did. 
get in that and I can't get good enough. Honestly, um, my last day of work, uh, I wrote on the on the whiteboard, the family wasn't defined by blood, and I signed it, and I initialed, uh, initialed it and signed it, and um, the chief from the office had actually got that photograph and tattooed on them with my, with my initial. You got yours, did you? I haven't seen yours. Don't cry. Yeah. Too late. There you go. And of course, Tori and I have ours in the same spot. That's right. There you go. Family's not defined by blood. And I tell you what, you know, just by the amount of people here today, that just demonstrates that you do right by people. And when you need them most, they're there. And at a time when I need everyone, and knowing that my family needs everyone, we've got everyone here. So thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming. Obviously, uh, I'll need, you know, just keep them in your minds, keep them in your thoughts, and, uh, and I'll do what I can for the other side. Thank you. Sorry, um, obviously also uh, I just want to thank a few people, obviously Rick and I and Phil, whoever he is, but we ran VMRSG here in Anna for four or five years, so obviously thank you everyone um, from our group, there's um, obviously Vic Harley, Empire Eagles, um, the Sons of Arancini, Highway Hogs, um, who else have I forgotten, Miss Pierce, um, who's obviously helped me. Oh, you've got your list. We could, okay, we could help thank everyone else on the half. Obviously, V, everyone at Nationwide, Concrete Pump, you need a concrete pump, you ring them. Um, <laughs> anyone who's interested or needing anything commercial or instruction at EC Group. Um, my, my Mount Gambia family, I've seen a few of them roll up today. Always works. Uh, thank you. Um, still networking. I'm networking for my guy. Um, yeah, so again, just thank you to everyone behind organising today, honestly, just a very, um, yeah, undeserving of it all, but thank you all very much for coming, and thanks for all your hard work. Alright, so I've got a few thank yous that I want to uh, get through. First up, I want to thank the, the tavern here, Morris and Wendy, for once again putting a, uh, let's use their venue. Every, every uh, uh, fundraise we've had, it hasn't been an issue with them and they've helped as much as they possibly can, so big thank you for you guys. <laughs> I want to run through a few people, I'm going to miss a few people, there's no doubt, but uh, these guys, when I put the call out that I needed items for a raffle, the, the phone calls I've had, it's been unbelievable, and the stories that people rang me up and said, listen, listen, I don't know Chris, but I went on this charity ride, or I've heard of Chris, or I know, I, you know, I haven't personally met him. So it's been unbelievable, you know. I haven't, you know, I love the bike, but I haven't heard a bad word. Anyone mention anything bad against him? So it's absolute credit for a bike that's four foot nothing. He's one guy that I look up to. He's six foot. <laughs> All right, so I'll quickly run through these names, and uh, if I do miss you, right, come and punch me in the back of the head, and I'll, I'll, I'll yell at your name later on. All right, Nathan Brumby, uh, Gary Anderson, Alan Turner. Uh, Alan Turner, I don't know if you know Alan, Alan uh, is Zadie's dad, uh, she died uh, a few years ago now, she died of a, uh, uh, a brain aneurysm, she died, uh, she was seven year old, and her uh, donation saved uh, five people, helped, uh, save, uh, helped the living or the lives of five people anyway, um, he's donated uh, uh, two tickets, 250 bucks to uh, run uh, the Festival of Bikes, uh, Julie, Michelle, Mick, Tony, Stephen, Paul, Neil, Pierce and Kim, uh, also uh, Ming, Rowan, um, uh, I, I'd like to have a special mention to Dave and Rachel Nelson, uh, they've also uh, donated uh, uh, a voucher, uh, they've just found out their 90 year old daughter has been diagnosed with cancer and they've uh, still donated to this uh, fundraiser. So, some of the prizes that we've got. Now, the guys are going to be walking around tickets. I've got a heap of tickets. Here's Forex Tavern, where the fact has been held. 
Yeah, so it's awesome, the new little old boat shed. They have bands on here at the weekends. It's a great place. Thank you. I have great respect for this man and I don't know what to say about his story. Thank you for watching.